Flip Noise users. Uh, today we're going to be looking at making a kick drum out of my voice. Um, so we're going to start with uh, recording my voice. I'm going to make a kick drum out of my voice. Okay, so that's my recorded vocal. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is select a MIDI track, go over to instrument, grab the sampler, and either double click it or drag it onto my track. Uh, I want to select my voice or my sample, and I want to drop it into the drop sample here area of my sampler um, and I want to just adjust the start and the finish so look this is what I've got I'm gonna make a kick drum out of my voice okay and uh, if I link now look what link does it links the uh, start and the loop together and the end and the loop so what we get then is just in the end uh, we can adjust the start I'm gonna make gonna, 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 gonna make a kick drum Let's use that at the end there, uh, and then I'll use uh, something like this. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom in, and you could use snap, and that will do zero crossing. And I quite like that actually. Uh, I might put some crossfade on. Yeah, and let's go for that for now. We'll probably come back and tweak it afterwards. But um, So I'm going to go over to my pitch envelope and switch that on, put the amount on, um, and with the initial, I might go all the way up. And the important one is the decay. Okay, so you find the right pitch that you want. I'm going to go down by 12 for now. Yeah, and uh, I am going to go over to the filter global uh, and I might start. Get my little shape together there, get the de de sustain right down, and then the decay left and right. A little bit of decay on there, and also release. Put a little bit of release on. Uh, right, I'm going to select a low pass filter. Put a little bit of resonance on, just give it a little bite, and then the Pitch, uh, sorry, filter envelope. Turn the filter envelope up. Um, and let's have a look. And it still sounds a bit synthy. So, what I'm going to do is get the decay down like that. And maybe quite like a little bit more filter envelope on there and I might just let's put the slope up there and grab There we go, so you're just tweaking as I'm playing it. And I might just take the pitch. Down slightly as well. Uh, now I just want to see what frequencies are in there. So I'm going to go on to audio effects. Uh, I'm going to go on to EQ8. I'm just going to have a look what sort of frequencies I've got in there. And what I might do is just add some frequencies around uh, 
around that area there and also might take out some of the mud there's quite a bit of mud in there uh, so around about four two five three seventy let's try that now obviously that's the wrong shape I want more like that the notch it out and maybe a bit smaller area okay and that's kind of a kick drum there I'm, all I'm going to do now is put a bit of compression on uh, and I can hear now that the pitch probably wants to go up a bit and actually I've got too much decay on there that's better uh, and now I'm going to hear what it sounds like when I play it with say a hat Instead, instead of actually playing it, I've created a MIDI pattern that I think if I do four in the search, go down to my user library, I should see my four by four part that I use. There we go. Now, once I've got my kick drum um, triggering using this pattern, I can uh, tweak away a little bit better then. I can actually hear my little voice oscillate a part that I want to get rid of actually so I'm going to double click it and come back to my decay just there and maybe put a little bit of release on okay and tweak my There we go. The filter's now working a little bit better and I can probably get away with putting a little bit more of that in. There. So as you can see, once I've got the basic shape, it's just a case of going between the filter, filter envelope, the actual envelope of the volume and the uh, pitch envelope as well. Um, also don't forget the transposition there and um, if uh, it's still not right then you probably need to come and adjust the um, start points there so um, snap sometimes wants to come off so you've got more control over what you want to control um, so for example if we want to There we go. If we want to zoom in a little bit more, I can see the zero crossing points a little bit better without the snap on. So if we look there and go to the end, about there, and that's quite a sharp, nice little attack that we've got going on there. From the original sound that we recorded. I'm gonna make a kick drum out of my voice. Hope this has helped and uh, we'll probably do some snares and hi-hats and uh, other drum sounds in later tutorials. Goodbye.